Here we go again. Oh, why do I keep going through this? Okay, video number three for the Data Frog SF2000. And as you can see here, we're running Metal Slug. I just want to do a little quick comparison here, just, just so you can see the difference in the fidelity. So this thing's running at full brightness. This is also running at full brightness. Now, this, I would say, is maybe slightly brighter, but it's also really washed out by comparison. Also, this is running at 60 FPS. This is running at 48 FPS, and I'll never run faster than 48 FPS. So, let's just turn this off just now, because this isn't part of the video. And let's turn this off too. And turn it back on. Because today, we're going to review custom firmware on this. Multi-core, alpha, version 0.06. So, I don't know. What, what can I say? I tested it. I've not actually installed any of the other emulators that you can put on, like, you know, um, Sega Master System and stuff. I've just stuck with what's stock. But it's got custom firmware on it. This fixes all the faults, so most of the people online. But it really doesn't. It does reduce the screen tear in slightly in some games. But what it doesn't do is really speed any games up from what I've seen. In fact, some games feel decidedly slow. Now, that appears to be because... As I've confirmed online with some other people, this runs at 48 hertz. Doesn't really matter how fast the screen is, the chip will only output at 48 hertz. Nobody's managed to crack that nut yet. So anyone that says, oh, these are, these are great, they run at full speed, it runs at 48 hertz, which is even slower than it would have done in PAL countries. They would have run at 50 hertz. So, and if you're in the States, 60 hertz is what you'd expect. So that's why it feels slow. But even some games... Look, everybody likes to load up Metal Slug as a good example. It doesn't run at full speed. I never felt right when I was playing this game on the SF2000. Now, I've played Metal Slug on a lot of different handhelds over the years. And it just felt slow. And I'll show you what I mean. Custom firmware. Okay, we've still got that diagonal thing going on. We can't fix that. We'll just have to accept it. So everybody else shows you the start here, right? Let's blast in a bit. Now I'm going to give the benefit of the doubt, this is actually the second time I've logged, loaded this game. So this feels okay actually at the moment. But what will happen is it will slow down. Also, down isn't always the most precise. already starting to feel slow to me now. Look at this. It's, it, it's definitely slowing down. You see that when they're shooting? Also, the uh, rotation of the gun turret is slow. Yep, it's getting slower and slower as we speak. You notice most people won't show you this far into the game. And there's a reason for that, because it slows down. Well, now it's really slowing down.
Oh my goodness. And that feels terrible. So it's not, it's not running at full speed. Trust me. Now it's slightly better than it was. It's still not full speed. And if we go into here, actually we're not going to here, we'll go into favourites. So what I will say is, using this firmware gets rid of the horrible bilinear filtering that was in place before. So credit where it's due. But it's still not running at 60 FPS. And I don't think this thing will ever run at 60 FPS. That, that's the sad reality. Now it does run better than it did. Don't get me wrong. But... Now it ran a little bit better. Still a lot of audio skip there, so I'm guessing there's a lot of frame skipping happening. But, you know, Yoshi, we're still getting this weird diagonal refresh thing happening. But I guess we're going to get that because it's a 60Hz screen and it's not outputting at 60Hz. We can't help that, unfortunately. But then, would I recommend this? No, I wouldn't. Now, it's, it's fine for hacking and mucking about with, but I wouldn't recommend you buy one of these for your kids. I also wouldn't recommend this as your primary or your sole handheld gaming device for retro games because, honestly, you're doing yourself an injustice. For a small amount more money and a little bit of hunting, you can get so much better. You know, it's definitely running a, a little tiny bit better than it was. But as you can see, there's still horrible frame skipping going on here. I mean, it's not running anywhere close to 60 FPS. You even notice it there that just, just the audio started to slow down almost instantly. Hear it? I mean, listen to it. I'm sorry, but no, that's not full speed. So, um, would I recommend this? Well, I'll tell you what I will show you. Depends what you want to play. And obviously, Super Nintendo, it's, it's really not for that. And I, and I have used that as a an example several times and it's probably a poor example because it, it fails so miserably however you will play Game Boy games this still isn't perfect it still feels like there's a little bit of filtering going on there to me but let's let's see how Tetris feels now because one of the gripes I had was you got little phantom movements now and then so let's play through this for a second or two and just just see if that's gone Now, there's another weird audio stutter there. Did you hear that? It just kind of looped for some reason. I have to say, this is um, doesn't appear to be any false moves here.
Yep, this appears to be playing actually a lot better than it did before. No false moves, and I would say the the filtering is less of an issue now. So, my recommendation, and this has been my last recommendation on the SF2000. Should you buy one? And the answer for me is a big fat resounding no. There's better things you can spend your money on. Support better developers than Datafrog. They really don't care. They're chucking out this cheap, badly made junk and people seem to be lapping it up. Okay, if you don't mind hacking about with a device and you just want something that you could basically fry, then that's absolutely fine. But I would say there is definitely better devices out there you could buy. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you in the next video.